well so i'm about to break down the sample right now so let's get straight to it so i start off with this little pattern in contact it is a dulcet tone 1900 but if you know me man you know i've been using this like crazy and it comes with like a bunch of presets as well so it comes with like eight presets this is like by far my favorite bell tone keyboard anyways i made this pattern with it so let me just play it for you pretty simple but you know uh, uh it works uh, i start off with this down here first pretty repetitive so i decided to add some more stuff at the top to make it a little bit less repetitive this up here is so we're in d sharp minor so yeah first one d sharp minor without top notes second one d sharp minor without top note but i dragged down the middle note one semitone and the last one is D sharp minor without the middle note and yeah then this just repeats throughout the melody right here right here right here you know but yeah that's the melody that's the main melody the effects i added was a little eq and a delay tape a bus force and tape mellowfy pretty simple but yeah it was a little repetitive so i tried to make a cool counter melody on top of it this sound is from contact as well and it is from the ashlight bank the dead ringer preset right here a pretty crazy bank uh, but yeah i went with the dead ringer preset right here and yeah i just made a little melody all right so this is what the patterns looks like it's clicking right now i just rendered it out right here so i'm gonna just show you what it sounds like you know just a little paddy type melody you already know what this is by the midi man this is contact and noir pure dark preset right here uh, you know just filling out the root note and making uh, the chord up here The effects, uh, the decapitator is turned off, so I never used it, but I added an EQ right here, took out the lows and the highs. So that's the three main melodies, I'll play them real quick. I really hope you can't hear the clicks. All right, cool. So now we, we got the two little counter melodies. So the first counter melody is this one right here, uh, kind of like a gun boy type of sample. Here's the MIDI and I use Melod Flux for it. I just made this chord right here. So the original melody is in D sharp minor. So this right here is a D sharp minor. I just added this extra note for the tension, you know, the dark, dark tension right here. Then I highlighted it, press Control S, and I drag this time, uh, time knob up all the way. And when you do that, the melody becomes in one third. So if I change it to one third beat, you can see it's on grid right here. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just play it. And then for the second part, it's the same thing right here, up until the A, and then I just added the, this note, the G sharp, the F sharp, and the F again, so it goes up and then goes down again. The effects I added for that, I start off with the EQ, reverb spring, another bus force, and another tape mellow. Finally, we got this one right here, this lead. So here's the MIDI, it's pretty long. The reason it's long is because the preset is like kinda going through an LFO or like it sounds differently every time it hits. So I just made this pattern right here, this one, and then I just duplicated it a bunch of times and I rendered it out to a WAV file as so I could choose the best part that sounded the best because it sounded different every time it was playing. It sounds different every time, but here's, here's the pattern. After I had that, I just rendered out and picked this part right here. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the breakdown. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.